What's up everybody? And today we are out here at our full hair bushel plot trying to see what we hit this year. Yeah, so we feel pretty good about it this year. It's looking like a pretty good crop out here. We've done videos in the past on the 400 bushel plot, so we don't want to do a full-blown dig episode, but we thought of digging deeper, kind of showing you guys the process of what it's like when we're out here harvesting this plot and just give you some, some real-time footage of what it's like. So why don't you just go ahead and tag along with me in the combine? I'm sure Scott and Sonny will show up sometime too, and it'll be, it'll be a whole party. Yeah. So basically how we do this plot is we've got five rows of 15 inch corn here and it's a different variety every five rows and so we'll harvest the center three rows of that five row set and so as you can see we can do that with a 30 inch head and then we have a hopper that you can see up here on the camera that is actually within the grain tank on the combine then we can get the weight down here we get our moisture from the monitor up here and then we're able to basically use our own in-house program to then figure out our yield from there. So in this pass, we actually have 11 rows of 15 inch corn planted, and we're gonna take the center nine rows for data because we have a 30 inch gap between each pass. So we wanna take out that 30 inch gap that we would see because that would have a little more sunlight probably give it a little bit more of a yield advantage so we just want to look at the nine center for data here so in the past we've always done five rows and five rows and split the planter but our thought is that maybe we can have a little bit more success by having the 15s all kind of clustered together uh, in more rows and maybe just one hybrid across there All right, so as you guys just saw, Scott and Sonny actually came out, ran the combine for us for a couple passes. I think they got to scratch that farmer itch every now and then, right? right? So why don't you guys tell us and the viewers really some of the history behind the Ford and Bushel plot and why that's still such a, an important thing for us even now today. Back in the 70s, we were trying to hit at least 300 bushels. You know, we were way away from it, but we wanted to try things that would someday be profitable. We didn't care what that cost to do it here on this acreage, but we wanted to find out what and how we could make that happen, and then we'll figure out how to do it. So we worked for about 20 years, to, from the <laughs> mid-70s right. to the 90, mid-90s, to get the 300 bushels, and finally we got the 300 bushels. So. And then, and then about a decade later, we were accessing even more diverse sources of germplasm, and that led to like three, three consecutive years, I think, of, of 300 bushels or somewhere in that that range. That meant we needed to up the ante. I mean, we, we, we took it to 400. Uh, we did some things structurally here to, to add uh, below ground irrigation. Mm -hmm. uh, went to some narrow rows and the overhead, uh, not irrigation but cooling system, right? Mm -hmm. And what I think for the future is as we get more and more technology that allows us to monitor and measure on a plant-by-plant -plant basis and then apply products, nutrients, things that we need, mm -hmm. then that's gonna help help us raise it to 500 bushels. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we can also, with this underground system, we can apply extra sulfur to this right. row right here, right. to this 15 inch row and maybe something else to, to another row after we get into the next block. So I think those are key things that you guys will learn to figure out how we can add these nutrients that might work. And since we can do it on block by block, you'll get there faster. Yeah. Every single year that we do this, it seems like there's a, there's a learning moment we get every single year. And we're, we're, we're thankful for you guys came out with us today to you know, scratch that little farmer itch you had, you had going on. Um, but hey, we've got about six more passes to do, but we're gonna get back at it. We're gonna get back at it? You go back to the office. I'm gonna go to the combine. <laughs>
an ear of corn per row. Yeah, probably. But hey, there's always next year, you know. There's better luck next year. It was close, so we'll work through it. All right. Hey, there's nothing we can change right now. 397 is still a it's really, good corn. really it's good, good corn. corn. Really good corn. It's good so. corn. And that's the, you know, we think about the last three years, we've been really good at hitting 380. Yeah. 383, 382, things like that. So be sure to stay tuned for the next dig episode. I'm sure there's one coming out anytime now. No, I'm sure. There is.